God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. So tell us, what is Joe Laura all about? Well, I'll tell you what, these days I'm about being the best man I can be, being a good husband to this incredible lady right here, uh, staying close to God, and um, just trying to maximize my joy every day, and uh, trying to live it out the way God would have me do it. That was beautiful. I can say what Joe's about. Joe is about, I mean, flying, and when he's a go-getter, he is driven. <clears throat> And when he tackles something, he puts his heart and soul into it. So if he says that he is living now for going after being the best he can be, I mean, you know, watch out because he doesn't stop. He just, he, he goes, and if he stumbles, he gets back up and he just keeps going after it. Okay, so what is Gwen all about? Well, she lives it out. She's been living it out for many, many years. So. When somebody asks you a question like that, it's anybody who knows you, it's very obvious what you're all about. So. Oh, thank you, Joe. I have unequivocally never seen a person give so much to other people, so philanthropic in her nature. She, she's just, if Jesus was here and saw how Glenn lives her life, he would be, he would be pleased with her. And I say that in all sincerity, Don. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are giving, loving, compassionate, soul, soulful oh. person, and uh, that's left you so loved and respected by your by your contemporaries, by your mm. peers. Oh, thank you, baby. He's so good so. to me. He's an encourager. He encourages, he protects, he, he makes me laugh. Um, it's called companionship because it is truly compatible. You're at the beach today, but I hear that you also like to visit the Smoky Mountains. I love Gatlinburg. I, I love the I love the uh, mountains. I love the people. I love the little taffy shops, and it's just quaint, don't you think? It's very walking quaint. the streets, and you know it's colder up there, a little bit cooler mm -hmm. in the mountains. It's beautiful. It's the second most visited vacation spot in the country after uh, Orlando, Disney World, and it's always a lot going on. The amusement parks. We, we we have good food down there all the time. Uh, some of the family has cabins down there. We go down there. There's a nice little airport we fly into, mm -hmm. and uh, we've, got, we've got some good friends down there. Joe, what kind of airplane would you like to fly one day? You know what? I have never been in an amphibious aircraft, but the ability to land on water and then go land on land at the same time has got to be really fun. I would love to build one of those little things and fly it around down here in Florida. Would you go if I built one? Yeah, I would. I'm going to go where you go, <coughs> baby. If you'll fly with me, you'll never have to prove your courage in any other way. <laughs> you don't have to have courage around you because you're so safe. You respect the elements and God so much, you are safe. Joe is known for being Tarzan. What's that like? We were in a restaurant one time, this is a true story, downtown <laughs> Nashville, and all of a sudden we heard somebody cry out in a Tarzan, like, oh. Here, look, just try it. Just, just, just do it. <laughs> I'm sensitive. Does it open up doors kind of conversation thing? Like It has. It I've has, watched has, you. But, but I never was really, you know, like famous. I mean, people every once in a while said something, but it wasn't really like I was a super famous person. Really. At church, um, well, it got wear... out very quickly that you were Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that first time at church, I mean, wearing a loincloth at church kind of gave it away. <laughs> but anyway. It did. I mean, the dressing committee had to like help them out. They, they told me to kind of That's a, stop doing that. You know, it's like at nice restaurants, they'll give you a sport coat or whatever. They gave me a sport coat to go with it. Gwen, how do you start your day? I start every day off with just like um, talking to God and praying about what to wear and I, I, I literally um, I'm always just looking to just get off myself so it kind of helps to just go ahead get dressed and then forget yourself so I kind of like that you know it's like don't worry about it 
second guess anything, but it depends on what we're doing. I mean, I can get as sloppy as anybody and I love to get in work clothes and work around the house or... Every day, you know, I get up just like everybody else and I could go negative or I could go positive. I could have worries. I could worry about finances. I could worry about, you know, relationships. I could worry about my kids. Um, I could worry about, um, you know, my job. I could worry about everything. I could really take the whole world under my shoulders, just like anybody. And you do that, you pick it up, and you could, ugh, I mean, you're depressed, your arms are heavy, you're, you can hardly walk, you, you, you don't even want to live. But if you give it over to God, if you believe that there's a God and you give it over to God, then the next thing you know, your load is lightened. And then since your load's lightened, then you're looking to lighten someone else's load that they're feeling down and you're trying to get them to focus up. So uh, I'm just like everybody. I, I could go that way. It's a choice. I could go and worry about everything. I mean, there's enough troubles of its own. Jesus said every day there's enough troubles. But if you, you know, instead give to God, then uh, it, 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 makes, it makes me a different person, but it's not an unreach, unreachable person. A personality. Anybody could be like this. Gwen, tell us something fun about Joe. There's some other things you don't know about Joe, like boxing and years of it, years and years and years. In fact, when he was filming in Israel, um, the Russians were there and they would all come up <laughs> wanting to box with you. Tell them that story. All those guys, you got to know them. They uh, wanted yeah. him to like knock him out, knock him out. They were trying to learn how to box, and you would teach them. It was super fun. The Russian people, I have an affection for the Russian people. They're very, very heartfelt, cool people. But we were in Israel sh shooting the show. There was like 10 or 12 Russian stuntmen that had come down. And they were Jewish, by the way. They, they were uh, Russian Jews that had moved down into Israel. So the word got out, and I had one guy come over, and we just kind of put the gloves on and went a little bit. And, and then the word got out, and all of a sudden, there was like six, eight guys coming over all the time to work out. And uh, which wasn't the production's favorite activity between shooting days because they, they didn't want me getting beat up or anything. But um, it was good. Pretty soon I couldn't get rid of those guys and uh, we were working <laughs> out and having a good time. It was fun. Are you two soulmates? You know, I don't know that I believed about in soulmates. And yeah, you know, Eve was taken from the rib and then she was compatible. And so it's like, you know, side by side, you know, we're, we're just together. It, it's, it's a complete unit and it makes one. Two become one. And so it's really cool to, to have that. God, God is the ultimate architect, the ultimate orchestrator of, 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 of the heart and the mind. And he knew that man was alone. So he, he you know, this, it's like Adam went mad. Woman. <laughs> yes, he did. That's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Very good. Actually, God said very good. So it is fun. Man. Okay, I can tell you this: that without him, okay, like if I like had to now get up and 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 be apart, it's killer. Um, you know, it's like um, I, I if I had to, you know, go out in the day without out Joe. Um, don't you feel it? Don't you feel it like, you know, if we're apart, you want to get back together. You you can't wait to get back together. I just spent 12 days in Atlanta at Flight Safety and I, I missed you very much. It wasn't the same. Oh. I didn't even sleep right, you know. Yeah. It was, it was I can't sleep, you know, without him. Just, you get to the point where it's just, you need you need each other and you want each other. And so it's, it's, um, it's 24 seven. I mean, I, it does, it feels weird. You know, if we're not together, it feels great getting back together. That's fun. You talk a lot about church. What makes your church so special to you? Coming from other places, other churches, and experiencing worship in, in other places, when I, when I came to the Remnant Church and saw Gwen, she, she, gave, she really gave God a personality. God had a personality, but it just was really exposed through the way she, where she preaches the message. And so she just makes God fun. She makes it fun to to um, to worship. She makes she makes it fun to come to church, and 
He's taking out the legalism, right? Taking I mean, out the legalism. Really finding right. out who he really is. He's got an incredible personality. This said he made puppy dogs happy and jumping around and loving each other and rolling and tumbling. And I mean, all of the things that he's created is just adorably precious. And his artwork is genius. He's so artistic. I mean, he's just really trying to make us entertained all day long. He knows that we get bored quick, so he changed the weather outside. And I don't know, he's just, he's just all together who I want to be around for eternity with the one that's like lots of fun and that's God. I really want to invite him to all the parties. You have identified God's personality and brought that to light and, and identified and, 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 and encapsulated um, the things that God created that are fun and you, you incorporate that in, into the services, which separates it from the traditional kind of stereotypical going to church scenarios where you just kind of, you know, you, you really know how to make it fun by identifying God's personality. And I think that's what sets it apart. And there's a lot other places maybe that have a lot of fun maybe going on and trying to entertain people, but we're really not, that's not what we're about. We're really about um, trying to let God know, hey, this is the one place on earth, the one little sanctuary he's asking for there to be people that are just in love with him first. And so we're just trying to make God look good and not just that. We're we're kind of checking it out, trying to make sure, hey, God, are you happy with us? So it gives it a different feel. You're walking in there not to see what you can get out of it, but what you can give. And wow, what a turnaround mentally. It just... It, 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 blow, it, it blows your mind, but it, it blows up all those depression pills. It blows, uh, you know, over drinking out of the water. It, it's like, it says be full of spirit. And that's what it's talking about. So thanks for Absolutely. joining us. Love y'all. Love you guys. See, See you, you next, next time. time. Do you have a question for Gwen and Joe? Post it in the comments below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video.